full-time boxer and part-time rapper, Danny Garcia. I had to get that in there. Guy's hawking his rap stuff on Facebook more than you wouldn't even know he's fighting. Yeah. Uh, we're about 10 days away. Uh, biggest fight of your career, big pay-per-view, Kendall Holt. What are your thoughts uh, 10 days out? Oh, man, I feel great. I'm anxious. I'm ready. And I'm just been in a tough training camp. Did everything I had to do, and now it's just time to fight. I'm excited. Uh, we talked to you at the first press conference. How's your mindset changed? That was two months out. Now we're less than two weeks out. How's your mindset oh, my changed? Mind, I'm in the zone right now. I'm in the zone, and I'm ready. I'm just ready to show my skills on HBO. Um, Kendall Holt, what's he, what's he gonna bring to the table? Nothing I can't bring to the table. So he can look at tapes all he want, but when we in that ring, I'm get, and uh, I'm just in a chameleon. I'm gonna adapt to whatever he wants to do. Whatever he does, I'm just gonna adapt. And I'm gonna be the winner. You just mentioned uh, this is for an IBF and WBC eliminator. The other night, um, I believe a Lucigen, I believe one that he's the number one now by WBC for Morales, and uh, I guess Amir Khan has the IBF that he got from uh, Judah. So with Morales and uh, Khan being promoted by Golden Boy, you think you know not to step ahead of yourself, but you think that could be more quicker than uh, than later? You know, anything's possible. Right now, I'm training for Kendall Hall, and um, my task is October 15th against Kendall Hall. What's your feel? You're fighting on a, a big card. Uh, you fought on cards with Bernard before, but this is a big pay-per-view card, and I know there's been times you've fought on cards, you've been off the pay-per-view. Now you're on the pay-per-view. Uh, what were your thoughts on that? I'm excited. Finally get my time to shine. That's what I've been waiting for, and um, I train hard. Me and my team did a hell of a job in camp, and now it's just time to, to shine. Any, uh, since there's going to be a big pay-per-view audience, any, uh, I know you, you want to win and win, I mean, is it more important, is it, how important is it for not going to win, but win in style, win convincingly? I mean, it's important because, you know, you want to win the fans over, you want to be a, you want to be a superstar, you just don't want to be an average fighter. So I'm going in there to, to look as best as I can, I'll be on my A game, and I'm imp hopefully impress the, uh, the audience. Um, this is a question for both you and your dad, maybe. Um, the thought process in taking this fight, uh, like you said, uh, the previous interview, you talked about the Campbell fight. He was kind of mm -hmm. on his way down. He was coming way up in weight. His best fights were at 30. This guy is a legit, maybe still in his prime, 140-pound guy. Guy three fights ago was a world champion. Um, what are your thoughts process in taking this fight? First phone call. Exactly. <laughs> First phone call. I mean, yeah. First phone call. He said, exactly. you want to fight this guy? Listen, when you can watch, when, you, when Kendall fought on ESPN, he fought um, Diaz. Diaz. And after the fight, when Kendall Hall knocked Diaz out, Danny looked at me and said, Pop, I'm fighting. First of all, before the fight, Danny said, Pop, the winner of these two, I'm fighting. I'm looking at him like, why is he even thinking about this? Like, soon as Kendall Hall knocked Diaz out, he said, Pop, I'm fighting Kendall Hall. The next day, the phone rang. So when you can predict your fights, then it's a good thing. I mean, we're not going to estimate him, but he's not taking nothing from Danny. Or the, uh, me, because when I, he's in the ring, I'm in there with him, mentally. You know, it takes a team to build a team. It just don't come out of the blue. You become one of the top trainers in the world, and all of a sudden, you no, it doesn't work like that. Everybody had to be on the same page in the ring, like me. When I'm in, when Danny's, I'm in the ring with him, mentally, physically, and spiritually, and nobody taking nothing for that. So this, this, this came from many years ago. This just didn't start yesterday. What happened in that night? Yeah. That, that like literally a day you said from like Danny, uh, you ain't fighting that guy next to like. Yeah. You know, a day later, let's take the fight. Exactly. What, 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 what happened well, in your well, mind to change your... When you could predict, when you could predict a Fate. fight, exactly. You could, if you could read your future, then it's a good thing behind it. He predicted his own future when it came to that fight. Now, what, why did, why, when you're just sitting there watching, you know, eating your popcorn or doing whatever you're doing, what, why do you say, I'm fighting that guy? There's hundreds of other 140-pound fighters who have a, have a name. Why, why did you, just because he was... Maybe I'm just I'm just a good matchmaker. <laughs> Maybe I can match my own fight. No, you know I just I just want to fight the best. And um, they say to to be the best you gotta fight the best. So he claims he's one of the best. He claims he's one of the hardest punchers. We'll and I, I claim I'm the best, and I'm claiming I'm one of the hardest punchers. So it's just gonna be all out. It's gonna be an all out fight. If you can predict who your opponents may be, who's who's gonna win the fourth at Philadelphia racetrack today? I may just go. Yeah. If, if you can predict, uh, if you can predict your opponent, yeah, horses. <laughs> Man, I don't even know no horses, man. I just know Smarty Jones. Is he still alive? I mean, is he still around? <laughs> is Smarty Jones still around? Anything you want to say in closing? 
Um, you know, October 15th is going to be in a lot of excitement, a lot of speed, a lot of power, a lot of youth. And I promise you, a star will be born in Philadelphia. I'm going to make y'all proud. Best of luck, Danny and Angel. We'll see you October 15th.